Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live from Vietnam. We got the Batman, we got the alien, we got the whole crew out there and uh, Annabelle got deposited on Mars from the alien guys. So we're going to be talking about Dogecoin to $1, we're going to be talking about the path, what it's going to take, how we're going to do it, are we going to get there, and uh, much, much more. We're going to be talking about some uh, Bitcoin tacticals. We're going to be talking about uh, some of the earnings that's going to be coming out uh, next week, guys. So next week is going to be pretty, pretty critical. We've got some key uh, economic, uh, macroeconomic data that is coming out. And, you know, one of the things that's uh, really going to drive crypto markets is the macroeconomic data. So if the macroeconomic data is positive, we are going to see more, more catalysts out there. That's going to push uh, crypto up, guys. So that is pretty good. But really, one of the things that we want to really dive into is Doge to $1, the path forward how we're going to get there is it going to be possible or not and when when is it going to happen guys so we're going to be talking about that and much much more out there so if that sounds interesting if that sounds interesting let's jump into it without any further delay guys so let's start off with the uh let's and remember now this is financial advice got to stay there do your own research and watch out for nasty scammer, whammer, bammers. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, guys. So we're seeing that the fear and greed index has come down a little bit. That was because there were some choppity chop chop for Bitcoin and most of the cryptocurrencies. But we are seeing that Dogecoin is pumping right now. So that is good news out there. So, you know, what are we seeing in terms of the t a total heat, heat map right now? We're seeing that the Bitcoin is slightly down time recording, but it looks like the old coins are coming back. So some of the liquidity uh, out uh, is flowing out of uh, Bitcoin and flowing into the old coins. And that is not the reason why we're seeing that the uh, the Bitcoin dominance is coming down a little bit. So Bitcoin dominance has come down a little bit. It's at 42. We're seeing Ethereum dominance is about the same, but we are seeing that more and more of the old coins are flipping positive right now. So that is good. Look, more old coins are flipping positive on the 24-hour basis. So that's pretty good. That's pretty uh, peachy keen. We are seeing right now that uh, Dogecoin is up about 4.53%, so a nice pump there. And it uh, looks like, uh, you know, we are still way, way behind Cardano. No, we definitely need to get going. We need to get going because we need to get back to the eight spot, guys. So we uh, lost the eight spot to Cardano. Uh, guys, Dogecoin 111, Dogecoin 555, Dogecoin 333, Dogecoin to one dollar, the path forward. Explain, guys. We're going to be uh, jumping into the math and all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds interesting, guys, keep on, keep on watching. Don't forget, click the like, uh, smash the likes, pound the likes, and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And the alien definitely wants you to do that, guys. So get out there and do it, guys. So the alien is loving you, guys. Guys, so so let's get it guys let's take a look at dxy right now and remember it is monday morning here in asia and sunday sunday late evening out there so we are seeing once again the DXY is going down, and that's what we need to see. The more the DXY goes down, the better it is for crypto, the better it is for you and me out there. So let's freaking get it, guys. So we see that uh, right now that uh, Bitcoin did uh, did attempt to break above uh, 23. It did it uh, two days ago. Uh, it did it again uh, yesterday, and right now it's attempting to break past $23,000. So $23,000 is some hard resistance out there. So a lot of people are saying that uh, Bitcoin is going to drop to 10000 I don't see that. I believe that the lowest price that we could be seeing for uh, Bitcoin could be my technical support area in the blue and that is around $13,537. If that does collapse down, worst case scenario, then we will see Absolutely, we'll see uh, 12, uh, 2, 3, 2, and that's a low. Guys, remember, our bottom here, our, our bottom was around about 15, uh, 7, 7, 6, 4. So I'm not too concerned out there, guys. So it looks like it looks like a uh, some interesting news that's coming out. Nothing too much. Ex Salvador exposure Bitcoin is still minimal, uh, guys. Uh, so you know, there's a lot of goodness out there. Absolute goodness. Dogecoin 111. Don't forget Dogecoin to one dollar. We're going to talk about that. How we're going to get that a path moving forward. So we are seeing that on the weekly. We're seeing a very very good news. We're seeing that overall. Uh, last week we did see uh, Bitcoin go up about eight seven seven percent, and we're seeing a beautiful W pattern out there. And I believe twenty five thousand is just a matter of time. So you guys should be. Feeling pretty bullish out there. Ethereum once again it keeps getting it keeps getting knocked out at the 16, 1673, 1674 level. We definitely need to continue to move up above that, but we are seeing more of the liquidity right now flowing out of Bitcoin, flowing into the old coin. So that should give uh, you know Ethereum a nice pump, and that should uh, send Ethereum above this resistance line. If we can do that, then that's going to confirm uh, another uh, level of support, which should be around about eighteen hundred bucks. The EMA ribbons we are confirming. Uh, that we are very turned bullish. We turned bullish around about um, the second of January. So uh, for the whole month of January, we have uh, seeing a bullish 
uh, a bullish twist, guys. So things are looking pretty good, and I'm I, I'm pretty sure that this is the end of the bull, the bear, the bear, guys. Next week we have a ton of economic data coming out, guys. No no time for for puts, guys. So we're seeing that some of the stuff that's coming out next week. Let me just uh, change that chart so you can see. It. Economic data. We got the services, PMI, manufacturing, Q4 GDP that was just coming out Thursday. This is a big one. This is absolutely a big one. Durable goods, jobless claim, new home sales, PCE inflation data that's coming out on Friday. That's also a big one. Uh, but you know, from that perspective, uh, I, I'm not too worried about it because our previous, uh, we saw that the inflation percentage came down and uh, the PCE data should fall in line. So that should be not a big problem, guys. We also got big earnings happening this week. Dogecoin 11, don't forget, we're gonna still be talking about Dogecoin path to $1. Dogecoin path to $1. Are you coming for the along for the ride, guys? Smash the likes, show some love. Some big earnings that are be coming out uh, this week is gonna be uh, Microsoft out there. We've also got uh, Tesla. IBM coming out, uh, a whole bunch of earnings out there. So guys, take a look, let's blow up into that. And we're seeing that, you know, we got Logitech, we got uh, MasterCard, Intel, uh, Microsoft uh, coming out, uh, Tesla. So uh, sure, we can expect that Tesla stocks are gonna be down, their earnings are not so not gonna be so good because they've been slashing prices on their Tesla model, sometimes 20, 25% guys to bring up their earnings. So, but if you're a long-term holder of Tesla, do not worry, do not fret. Tesla, I think, is a solid, uh, solid product. This is not financial advice. That's just me, guys. Um, keep in mind, uh, March 20, 2024, is still inked in stone. That is when we're going to have it, have the having, and that is when things are going to go up like crazy, guys. So, guys, did you guys know right now that breaking 47% of millennials and 43% of Gen Z with retirement accounts in the United States own Bitcoin? So that is pretty, pretty good, guys. So we're seeing that a lot more interest from the younger generation in Bitcoin, and they realize that Bitcoin is going to be the life-changing uh, life changing currency out there, guys, and genera generational, uh, gener absolutely generational life changing wealth is just upon us, guys. So, we're witnessing something amazing, witnessing something crazy. And this is from Crypto Caesar in the house. What he's saying is he's not, he doesn't want to jinx it, but not jinxing anything, but this looks good and pretty, a pretty chart to me, guys. So, we can see that, you know, we've had this falling wedge breakout back in uh, 2017 to 2019, and we had pretty similar the same uh, 2000. 2021 to 2020, we falling wedge, and now we're breaking past resistance. So that is more and more indicators. We're seeing more and more positive indicators out there that we are flipping bullish, guys, and things are going to be going up. Uh, this is the best one yet to come, guys. So we can see that every time we have a bull run, we often have Bitcoin going up. We have a consolidation before a bull run, consolidation before a bull run, and we've just had almost over a year of consolidation and now it's time for the bull run guys and every time we have the bull run the price of bitcoin is higher we had a double top remember last year this is the China getting out of mining, uh, dumpity dump dump, and then we just had a you know a crypto contagion, Luna, FTX, all the way down, and now we are looking uh, painted and ready to go up, guys. Keep in, keep watching. We got Dogecoin one moment. We got Dogecoin path to one dollar, guys. How are we gonna get it? Explain, guys. Is it possible? Is it impossible? We're gonna be talking about that, guys. So buckle up, buckle up. Bitcoin and Dogecoin are about to take off. It is clear as day. Do you get it, guys? Do you absolutely get it? Uh, we had the 2008. A market bottom, which was on the January 19th, uh, 2000, uh, January 1st, 2019. Uh, you know, and we've had all these bottom indicators coming in, and we can see that the distance between the, uh, the highs, uh, all time highs, and the lows is around about the same, guys. We're seeing something pretty, pretty similar. The market bottom is in, I believe it is absolutely in, guys, and we are going to pump, guys. So, every, everything we're seeing a lot of uh, bullish metrics out there, and they're all painting, uh, painting, and saying the same thing that the bear cycle is over, the accumulation cycle is over, and we're about to pop, guys. So Bitcoin ma manipulation and in bear in bear markets, when most of the people start to be convinced that BTC price will go much lower, it's when you want to be adopting the contrarian approach, guys. Absolutely, we know most people are saying it's gonna go down. You wanna do exactly the opposite of what the herd is doing, guys. Absolutely what the opposite is, and we saw here, Again, again, and this cycle, it, it even went to a step further with RSI dropping below support, and it's a historical support. So, guys, do the app opposite of what the herd is doing, guys. Don't forget, Dogecoin 111, and don't forget, we're gonna be talking about Dogecoin to $1, the path 
moving forward is it feasible is it just hyperbole are we going to get there guys we're going to be talking about that and much much more guys so guys this is also this is also positive we can see that bitcoin hash rate hits new all-time highs that means that the network is strong and guys we're seeing that more and more bitcoin holders are huddling like never before and the conviction is strong we are definitely entering into a bull market guys doge is gearing up to go to the moon don't forget we got the dogecoin x that's going to be happening sometime in march guys it's confirmed and it looks like our our Dojo is already suited up and getting ready to blast off to the freaking moon, guys. Are you loving it? I love it. The alien is loving it. We're all going to the moon together, guys. Uh, did you guys know that uh, Elon Musk right now, uh, Elon Musk is projected to be the most followed Twitter account in the world by March 2023. Currently, he is a number two just behind uh, our friend, your friend, or maybe not your friend, guys. And this is from Doge Designers. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Guys, fear and greed. The fear and greed for Dogecoin. Fear and greed. Are you afraid? I ain't freaking afraid. We're going to see a huge path to $1. Are we going to get there? Dogecoin 111. We're going to be talking about that. Dogecoin path to $1. Is it possible? Is it feasible? We're going to be talking about that. So keep keep watching. Don't click away, guys and gals. Wow. What they think, Dogecoin to eight dollars, Dogecoin bulls. We know where we're going. We're going to the moon, guys. Do you believe we're going to the moon? Maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but definitely by the next having, guys. So let's take a look what's going with the Doja Woja right now. So Doja Woja did have a huge, huge explosion yesterday. We did break freaking out. We did get past. Uh, we did get past nine cents. In fact, yesterday we did hit. Uh, we did hit a high of a zero nine three five, and right now we did get rejected. But right now the bulls are freaking in control. Right now the bulls are absolutely in control. And we are going to make a pivotal move past nine thousand nine cents. And once we get past nine cents, guys, we need to stay there for at least twenty-four freaking hours. And if we can do that, if you can do that, then that's going to confirm a eleven cent breakout. Uh, you know, most of the community is convinced that eleven cents is coming in, guys. And this is on the path to one dollar. Dogecoin to one dollar. Dogecoin one one one. And we're going to be talking about how we're going to get there, guys. So it is a cool time to be alive, guys. So some other stuff that's coming out right now. Uh, not too much there. Uh, let's talk about it. So right now, guys, right now, if you invested $1,000 into Dogecoin and you bought around about now and you sold at one buck, guys, you would you would actually have a profit of about 10754 That means that we need to go at 1,000x. And if we take a look at the total market cap where we are right now, so Dogecoin is up 4.53% and uh, right now that is at 8934 And we're about to blast off and get past the nine cent level guys and we're seeing a lot more interest a lot more volume almost a billion dollars in volume up 19.83 percent and we're just about to smash past 12 billion dollars guys so remember if we need to go 10x from here that is going to be a huge huge amount of lift up so we need the market cap to go up 10x so that is going to be 110 billion dollars we need to hit guys 110 billion dollars and you know, is it possible? What is going to what is going to lead and what is going to drive a Dogecoin to go to these lands? Well, first of all, keep in mind, community, that this is a really a community-driven token. As there's more hype, there's more FOMO. When there's more hype, there's more FOMO. The price is definitely going to be accelerated. We're seeing that time and time again. However, what's been happening recently? All these pumps that we're seeing right now are organic. We're seeing that Elon Musk right now. He's being very, 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 very quiet, very silent sitting back remember i believe that we're going to hear something at the end of january some kind of announcement some kind of confirmation we also remember that you, that dogecoin's only utility right now is a medium of transaction a medium of exchange and definitely we need vitalik we need dogecoin foundation to build that bridge we need smart contracts we definitely need a layer two remember we got shibirim coming shibirim is going to be using the bone token to create a layer two solution and build more dApps and apps and uh, DeFi. So we definitely need that to happen for Dogecoin because right now Dogecoin, a lot of the pumpage, a lot of the pumpage, uh, a lot of the price action is really driven by the Bitcoin price, the crypto market with the way that is going up or down and a lot of the hypey hype. And this is not this and I love the Doge, but we definitely need to some, see more utility built around the Doge. So one of the things that I'm urging and we need is we need the Dogecoin Foundation to get it in gear, reach out to Vitalik and start to build that cross train bridge between Doge 
and Ethereum, then we can have the smart contracts. Once we have the smart contracts, then we can start to start to interact with DeFi, and that's going to add more utility out there, guys. So that's what we need. We absolutely need need that happening. Also, the other thing that we need, we need the Dogecoin tippage. We definitely do that. We need Dogecoin to be accepted as the official Twitter. So these are some of the major catalysts, and we need more retail shops around the world to start using Doge as a medium transaction. It will come as we see more and more, more and more countries start to roll out the CBDC that is definitely going to happen guys and you know with that people are going to start to use Doge particularly particularly in the developing countries Doge is going to be the absolute medium of exchange guys so it is just a matter of time will we see Dogecoin getting to one dollar I believe it I believe that after the next halving in March 2028 uh, 2024 as we hit 2025 there is a good, good possibility that Dogecoin will hit a dollar. But remember, let's be realistic about it. Let's be, let's you know, kind of have our feet planted on the ground and not some, not something kind of like in some pink moss, pink steam, pink whatever out there. Guys, remember, we need to go up 1,000% to make that happen. That is going to be a hard slog. It is not going to be easy. It is not going to be simple. We can get there, but the key things, we, key takeaways, if we want to see that dollar, we need more engagement from Elon Musk. We need more utility. We need the Twitter thing happening. We need the Doge X one happening. And we need more of you out there to, to, to hodl. Hodl, 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 guys. And, you know, remember that Dogecoin is continually minting more and more and more dogecoin every year but remember it is uh, the, you know the inflation rate for doge is around about five five point six percent and every year it goes down so that is not too shabby we're doing better than the u.s economy in terms of that guys so it is a great time to be alive absolutely a great great time to be alive let's see who's in the money let's see who's not in the money let me give this a minty refresh time so we are seeing right now that for doge pow dogecoin 163 percent of you in the money so that is not too shabby guys out there we're also seeing that, uh, you know, yes, I did talk about that $422 million of Shiba Inu in less than one freaking week, guys. So that is awesome. That is freaking awesome. I think it's great. You love it. I love it. Guys, Dogecoin price, Alice guy for the coming week. So right now we can see that potential breakout from the 09 resistance could set Doge for a price rise of 22%. So what this is saying is that a key level that we need to get past is this 9 cent. If we can get past the 9 cents, this will take Doge up. 22%. So my next target for for Doge is around about this level here. So that is going to take us up to about 11 cents. So 11 cents is definitely in the cards if we can see Dogecoin get past 9 cents. And we're also seeing a lot more trading volume. So that is pretty good out there. So we can see that we have this nice nice W pattern forming on the long-term time frame, and that is pretty good. And this is also signified by a double bottom. We've seen this double bottom here for Dogecoin. We have this double bottom uh, here and here, and that is definitely a good double bottom, double bubble, double trouble for the Doge Awards, guys. So this is a great time to be live. So smash the freaking lights, Dogecoin 111. Let's take a look at what's going on Shibi Weeby right now. So Shibi Weeby is coming up, guys. Uh, like I said, Shibira, February 14th. Remember, buy the rumors, sell the news. But if you're buying now, get ready to sell just before, just before February 14th, guys. Get ready for that, and then you can buy in later after it, it goes down, guys. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be picking a more ship, and I'm going to be uh, getting rid of it about uh, February 13th. And I'm going to wait till after the after the news, after the confer confirmation of Shibir, then I'll buy back the positions at a cheaper price. So I'll have more. I'll have more ship, guys. I'll have more shibby wibby wibby, guys. Become part of the freaking conversation. I appreciate it. Be part of the freaking conversation. Get freaking paid, guys. And remember, it is so important that you take your profits, guys. Learn to take profits, guys. And if you are for your crypto on a centralized exchange and landing platform, get a hardware wallet. You'll sleep better at night. I sleep better at night, guys and gals. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, guys, that's going to bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy. Do go follow me on my Twitter, guys. We are getting so freaking close right now. So freaking close to 6,000 followers, guys. And lick the likes, smash the likes share this video share super chats and super thanks will be appreciated guys don't forget to go down below the video description and check out all the connections we've got the nano ledger we've got the the discord buy the channel of coffee and all that kind of stuff guys do 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 gear with og gear merch up guys so it is a freaking great time to be alive we got batman we got alien we got you out there have a peaceful day have a blessed day i'll see you in the freaking next one Woo!
cool piece out. This is Rick for our vanilla ice of Ice High Baby of Crypto. Get ready for a huge moonshot. Dude's going to the moon. I love.